think Crystal, you know what? I think she probably thinks we're crazy. For sure. BravoTV.com. Hello, BravoTV.com. Hi, Erica. Hi, Lisa. Here we are just doing a little Christmas shopping in Brentwood, California. We are, you know, and it's fabulous. We've had a great day. We certainly have. Yes. So, what do you think of Crystal so far? <laughs> well, so far, I think Crystal, you know what? I think she probably thinks we're crazy. For sure. But uh, she's fit in. I mean, she has a big personality. I like her. Yeah, she's yeah. a lot of fun. She doesn't take herself too seriously. Uh -uh. And I think we're gonna have a good time with her. I think so too. Yeah. I think she's strong. She's tall. She's very tall. She's five ten, which is what surprised me more than anything. Which I think is so elegant and beautiful. It is. Like she's very statuesque. Very statuesque, and I think she's a lot of fun. I do too. Her kids are really cute. Her house is really beautiful. Her house is beautiful. I love her husband. Yeah, he's a good time. I've met him now. I think twice. I think he's really good. I think you're going to love Crystal. I think everybody's going to really enjoy watching Crystal. I think so too. Yeah. My impression of Crystal when I first met her is sweet, tall, not a lot of makeup. She's going to learn the hard way. Um, she just seems like a great girl, great mom, and uh, I can't wait to get to know her more. She's cool. She's easy to talk to. She's fun. She's a mom of little ones, so obviously her and I have some things in common. And I feel like she's easy. I think she's going to fit in well with this group. But, you know, I have thought that in the past, so I guess only time will tell. But for now, I think she's cool. So my first impression of Crystal is she is smart, she is funny, she is beautiful, she's really tall. She's opinionated, she's not going to take anybody's crap, so no one's going to be pulling any fasties on her. I know so many people that know her. We have so many mommy friends in common. My sister Kathy's friends with her. All over the place. For some reason, we've never met. But I am excited to get to know her, and I think that you will be too. Hi, I'm Crystal Kung Minkoff, and I'm joining the ladies on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, I'm actually from LA, born and raised from Northridge. And so I'm so excited to get to know these women better. Life in Beverly Hills is actually quite different than what I thought it was growing up in the Valley. It was definitely um, an aspirational place. We would, my mom would take us to the Beverly Hills Hotel and the Beverly Wilshire to see her friends for dinner. And we'd have to get dressed up. And I mean, people really do that, but there is a big side, which I, I'm a part of that's very casual and down to earth and it's really just a place where you live it's just a zip code I had dinner with them last week and they were all so amazing um, I particularly connected with Garcelle and Dorit and uh, Dorit and I had this kids the same age um, I'm just nervous about the fashion I don't know if I can keep up with them but I'm certainly gonna try and I have a feeling that Erica might be good guidance for me. She was really like helping me out the other night, so I'm excited for that. My parents were both born in China, and uh, I, my brother lives in Shanghai, and we have a place, my husband Rob and I have a place in Beijing as well, and I pretty much spent my life eating Chinese food, which I always laugh, I just call it food. A fun fact, I am the 76th generational descendant of Confucius, and that's been a very big part of my life and the way I raise my family and the way I approach people. Pre-COVID, I was, I'm a, I was pretty social. I'm still quite social. Um, so I'm actually really excited that these girls like to go out. So it's sort of bring me back into um, that part of my life that I enjoy so much. Um, my kids are my whole life actually outside of my social life. And they are actually. Thank you for oh, saying that. Hi, come here. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> You're actually even more social than I am, right? You're always ready for play dates. I love you. And I'm going to take you to the play date. Yay. Yeah. Max, you really need to go. I love you. Now that I met the girls, I at first was quite nervous, but I'm actually really excited to get to know them. We are very excited. We've been talking about it. And we kind of made this decision together, sort of. And we're really excited to be part of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh, Beverly Hills. You can expect drama. You can expect fun. You can expect Kathy 
prankster. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Um, and I think you guys are going to really have fun watching. I think it's fun. It's entertaining. I haven't seen anything yet that's been disturbing to me because <laughs> under my watch, Speak I will not yourself. allow that. I feel like I'm in the thick of it, but I have to say that uh, all the girls have been so welcoming, so loving, so accepting. We are. We're out. Out on a about. trip <laughs> and we're all together in a house thank god it's big uh, it's but we big. are together all the time and it is fun for me because i do love to kind of move in and out of each of the little groups of anything that's going on yeah. and find out what's happening yeah you're very good at it and see how i can help right yes that's true you're very helpful Hi, BravoTV.com. I'm Crystal Kogminkoff, and I am here to teach you guys how to make my margarita. I've sort of become the in-house bartender of the group, and which is a little shocking because these girls drink a lot of margaritas and yet they don't know how to make one. So I'm gonna show you how I make mine. I always do two limes and three cuties, not oranges. You'll see a lot of oranges on the show, but I, um, because they don't get cuties, but uh, I find it the best flavor. And it's a ton of ice. Um, and I don't use anything else but tequila. So it's definitely a sour drink. Uh, if you don't like it too sour, some of the girls like me to put um, Grand Marnier in it, but this is how I like to make it. And this is um, sort of my quarantine drink. <laughs> Once we started quarantine, I started making these. Little So I poured the whole thing in over a ton of ice and I top it off. I don't even measure any of this because sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's heavier. The girls, the girls actually, Lisa actually says to me, I want a medium, I want a hard, I want a light. Like we already have a whole thing with that. So this is probably, I would say a medium. I would call it the quarantine margarita. Because if you're gonna do this every night, I don't think you should add the sugar. Uh, but the cuties actually make it super sweet. But this is my version. 